Hey guys, welcome to the Manga Mark channel. Today I am watching One Piece episodes 709 and 710. Um, oh, we are, the final stage has been set here in Dress Rosa, okay? Viola in the last episode, she said that she kind of gave us the layout of like what's happening, who's going up against who, um, you know, the different areas, key areas like the, the factory, um, the factory, the plaza, where everything going on, then up above is the palace, where we have right now Luffy and Law uh, against uh, Dolph Mingo and Treble, okay? And we got all the stuff in the last episodes where, you know, Law telling Dolph Mingo about him, his full name, about the, you know, D, uh, which was just, you know, the tension there. And then Dolph Mingo took his arm off. So we got that problem there. But then as things were looking bleak for Law, Luffy smashes, you know, gave uh, gave uh, Dolph Mingo's clone the, the crocodile treatment, just blasted him up there, and now Luffy has rejoined the main fight, um, which is exciting, right? It's exciting, but just get treble out of there. <laughs> get treble out there, he's doing my head in, right? Uh, but like Viola was saying as well, we have all these kind of key battles happening elsewhere. You know, Frankie's still fighting Senior Pink at the factory. In fact, he's the only one that's at the factory, um, along with like, the Tontatas. Everyone else is kind of centred in that middle area, running about the plaza um, on our side. Uh, and we have, obviously, not just the crew, you know, we have Zoro up against Pika, um, but we have all the kind of Coliseum fighters as well, who are going up against the executives, um, from Dolph Mingo's family. So, all that, the stakes are up there, you know, like, we got the backstory, um, you know, devastating backstory, of, like, with Law uh, and Corazon, all that, and now we're here, you know, like, there's that much going on that I sometimes forget about certain bits, like, Kiros is in the, uh, you know, the Sunflower Field going up against Diamante, Rebecca's there, Everything, like, we could jump to anything in these episodes and sometimes I'll forget, oh yeah, this is happening as well. Because it's been, it's been set up really well. You know, all of these confrontations have been set up really well and now, here we go, final stage time. Um, but yeah, guys, let's get into it. Let's get straight into it here and find out what this episode's going to be about. Because at this point, like I was saying, we, we, it could be anything. We could be jumping to, between all these different areas while all this is going on, all these fights are going on, let's see. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Everyone that has comes back, watches, comments, likes all these videos. Thank you guys so, so much. I really appreciate it. And yeah, let's do this. One Piece episode 709. Let's go. Oh, Bellamy backstory now? Okay. Oh. Oh dear. No, Bellamy. Oh, look at all these smug faces I remember from Jaya. Nah, no chance. Notice has not been mentioned. A wealthy town. Oh no, Bellamy. Oh, Bellamy, why? So he's from a rich, he's a rich kid who just wants to become. Oh, okay, that's probably what shaped his personality. Yeah, well, he kept his word there. <laughs> You know, it is actually just great to see this reanimated. You know, oh, usually when they do like a like a flashback to scenes that we've seen in the anime, this looks great. Like they do that thing where they, they show you the old footage with like the two bars down the side, and you can see how far they've come. But this looks fantastic. Oh man. Mm -hmm. 
this was such a, this is one of the best episodes of One Piece. This was this was amazing. Yep. Yep. That's right, and he came. When was it? He came after that, didn't he? And made him, made him chop up his own crew. Oh, that's right. I forgot he said that as well. Right. Oh man, I was hoping we were gonna to get to see like what happened to him on Skype here. Yeah, he's just like all this all this just must be messing with his head right now. He's just like trying to come to terms with you know the life decisions that he's made, let's say. I don't know if Yeah. I don't think he ever took him seriously. It's like everybody else. Yeah. Everybody else in his family are all broken. I think that's what he liked about. Yeah, this is his mindset. Like. This guy from a rich town shows up, like, saying he looks up to him, wants to become a pirate. Dolphamingo probably never took him seriously. Um, whereas everybody else he considers family... Yeah, they're, they're all kind of... Like, that's why he, he took such a liking to law when he showed up, when he looked in his eyes, because he said, right, okay, this kid's experienced what I've experienced. This kid's done with the world, basically. Smingo and snot. <laughs> oh. Come on, Belly. What are you doing? Bellamy? Right, after seeing that recap there. He's not seriously going to fight. He's not being controlled anymore. So. What are you doing, Bellamy? The nostalgia, though. Like, just like, Luffy must just be looking at this going, yeah, I remember this. <laughs> I remember this. Right. Okay. But why are we doing this here? Like, what's going on? Come on. Eddie will smash that. Yeah. Ah, uh, this... Oh. This little smug... Get, like, just smash his face in. Oh, no. Oh, no. Sai, you're gonna have, you're gonna have trouble. Tr she thinks that. This, this, uh, it's gonna be another misunderstanding. Because he said something that she's took as. Yeah. Him being in love with her or something. Oh no, Sai, just, you need to stop talking. You, you, you need to stop talking. Everything you say, she's going to take it the wrong way. Yeah. Sai is just so taken aback right now. He's like, what is happening? Yeah, it's like, what, I, I, like, just, just keep your mouth shut, just don't say anything else. 
No. Come on, Haradin. Okay. I wonder if Haradin knows. Yeah. I wonder if he knows about um, Dorian Brogy. If he's from Elbath, surely. Oh man, I, I really hope he has a conversation with Usopp. You know? Because you might know Dory Brogy, um, Oimo and Kashi. Let's go. No, no. He, Zoro, this is the, the worst member of Dolphin Mango's crew. Let's get rid of him. I like how I, I like how Zoro's having all these interactions with the Coliseum people. You know it was uh Olympus in the last episode and now he's he's gonna get to see the resolve of all the Coliseum people that friends we've made. Yeah. Ah, it has been through the ringer. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, okay, he's facing it head on. Uh, that's, you know that's tough, because we know the nature of this clown's devil fruit. Yeah, oh man. Oh. Oh my goodness, Haradin is going to be out of commission after this. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yes. With his bones crushed. Let's go. Oh yeah, I forgot like that. Oh, smash right into that bird cage, please. Nice. Oh, that was good. Oh, thank God. Yeah, get him out of here. Nice work, Harrison. Nice, yeah, squash them as well. Oh, he just fainted on them, right, okay. <laughs> oh. Zoro. Bit of recognition. Yes. Love it. Love it. I love how Zoro's acknowledging all these Coliseum people. I, I, I think that's great. Right, okay. Now, most of that episode kind of gave us... Um, I can run down or like recap of Bellamy's backstory. I don't know. It's, do you know what? I didn't mind because, like, when you think about it, for people that are watching this weekly, how many years ago must the Bellamy stuff have happened? And Jaya, you know, because that's episode what. 150-ish? Run about there. Because Alabasta ended like 120-ish, I believe. So, yeah. Um, it's been a long time. So I can understand, like, right here, let's give them recap. And then I love that they reanimated it. Like, seeing that scene again, um, you know, just, it looked great, you know, being reanimated. But a lot of it was like stuff that we've seen in this arc. 
You know, we got a little 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 bit of the backstory where he first met Doflamingo. Um, you know, but then giving us like kind of all the kind of recaps of basically stuff that was said to him in like the Coliseum. I get it. I get. I get why they've done it. Um, to kind of lead into this scene with Luffy, just to kind of give you the full picture. So it doesn't bother me that much. Uh, but. I don't know. I don't know what's going through Bellamy's mind right now, because obviously I think he's when he's thinking about all this, he's came to terms with the fact that he's followed the wrong person, right? He's followed the wrong person, you know. He's he, it, it kind of you can tell it kind of hurts him to have Luffy who, because of how he treated them and like the way that they were in Jaya, to have him call him a friend and defend them, stick up for him, things like that. You can tell, he, he, I don't think he knows how to process that, right? But right now, with him doing the, you know, using the springs and like doing the same move, like going for Luffy just now, he's not being controlled anymore. So I'm like, what's the, what's his thinking right now? What What is going through Bellamy's mind right now as to why he's doing this? I think we will get answers. We will get answers to it. We will get answers to it. But you can tell, like Bellamy has had, like he has had a change of heart. You can tell he has matured. He has grown up. But through this, you can see that basically, this came for he. He got too. He jumped in too deep with people that were just. Far beyond, like he came from a wealthy country. He came from a wealthy country. He found it boring. He went to go and play pirate. Right? He's looked up to someone that, like Dolph Mango said it himself. He's like, listen, we we don't we don't think the same. We don't think the same. I was never trying to be a pirate. I didn't care what I was. I wanted to. I just want to destroy the world. Don't care how I do it. Don't care like like what people perceive me as. Whereas. Bellamy's kind of looked up to this person he thinks is cool. He's like, oh, this guy's cool. He gives off this great image. Um, I want to be like that. Not really knowing what... I don't want to say what trauma, but, like, the past... That, like, everybody, by the looks of it, in Doflamingo's crew just has something wrong because of probably past trauma. And they're involved in this crew. And that's why they're so loyal to him. That's why they are all in. You saw it with like Baby Five and Buffalo. When like Sengoku and um, Corazon were talking. Because Corazon's tried to drive away all the children. So they don't get involved. And they don't get, you know, swept into this. And he said that the only two he couldn't get rid of was those two. Because they were broken, essentially. Like, and it was the same when Law showed up. That's why Doflamingo was like, yes. When he looked at his eyes, he's like, this kid. This kid's like me. Um, so, it's a shame. He's, he's basically been, you know, it's basically, it's probably just been a whim for Doflamingo all this time. To be like, yeah, let him, you know, let him do it. Let him do what he wants. But you lose. The, as soon as you lose, that's coming away. He doesn't look at Bellamy the same way. Like, he has his family and you saw how far he will go and how much he cares for those people. Because he does have that kinship with them. Bellamy's prob was probably just like a, you know, like, yeah, let him, let him do what he wants, but he's not part of this. He ain't part of this. Um, you know, somewhat, he, he could never understand, like, the way we think or what is going on with us. So, very, na I don't want to say naive, but yeah, was naive. You know, he's... He's followed this person and looked up to them without actually knowing them. Really. He's looked up to the image. Um, but other than that, you know, the stuff with like the, you know, Harid, giving Harid a little bit of spotlight there. I like that. Um, I'm hoping we get to find out if he does know about like Dory Brogy, Oimo Kashi, like the, the, the legendary pirate crew from Elbath. Um, I don't know because they said that he was like a rookie 
from Elbaf. So I'm guessing maybe... Maybe he doesn't know them. Like, maybe he hasn't met them. But he'll definitely know about them. If he's come from Elbaf, I'm guessing, like, Dorian Brogy must be a pretty big deal. Um, there. Uh, but yeah, you know, I love it. I love that Zoro's just running around. As he's running around to, you know, dealing with Pika and trying to figure out what's going on with his devil fruit, he's seeing the resolve and, you know, how much these people from the Coliseum are helping us and how they're, they're all in here. And I'm glad that the first one um, out of all these, one, of, of all the fights that are happening, the first executive to drop is this guy, Vice. I'm going to call him Vice because he is, in my opinion, the most forgettable out of all of them. And just, I'm, I'm glad that that's, that's done, right? Get him out of here. Uh, so let's get into the next one and see what we're, go we're going to go next. Um, hopefully we get to see what's going on with Bellamy here. Let me see what, what the script is. Like what, what is his thinking right now? But yeah, let, let, let's jump in. Let's see. Uh, One Piece episode 710. Let's go. <laughs> Sai must be in the most... Confusing fight of his life. Oh, stop saying these things. Stop, stop. Sai, like, learn. He's not, he's not learning. <laughs> Don't. What? What is happening? Oh no. No, Sai, you should care. Like, you, just marry baby five if that's your other option. <laughs> marry baby five. You're gonna say, yeah, I. It's <laughs> oh no. Oh no, that's like. She probably won't do that. I think she might actually do that. That's how messed up she is. In the head, like. From a young. Like, we saw how young she was. Oh. Yeah, Sai. Take that back. No. No. Don't change out. Just be quiet for a second. No. Don't listen to him. Nice. <laughs> oh man. No. Just a bit like I feel bad for her. Like when when you see the back like Law's backstory. Oh, we're getting on. Yeah, uh, you can understand. Oh my god. Oh no, don't do this to me. Don't do this to me, Mark. Oh. Okay, now. Oh, yeah. There we go. Oh, come on. That. Yeah. Very much makes you understand her. 
behavior. No, don't change out. Like, seriously, stay out of the way, right? Don't change out. Seriously, mate, just stay out of this. Okay. Nice. Oh no, we'll need to get Luffy to straighten us again. Good on you, Sai. Like, well done. Not, not slapping her, like, <laughs> but you know, you know what I mean. <laughs> Took down the old man. Um, it makes me think of like, what's Buffalo's backstory then? Like, what's his deal? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Tell her, Sai. <laughs> yeah. He left you no choice, Sai. Is he proud of him? No. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, I like this. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, so they don't actually need the head then. Thank God. Thank God for that. <laughs> Just get married to baby five then, Sai. Like, take her away from here. Get her out of this place. Yes, yeah, so he's not. What's going on with Lao G? Why interrupt this? This was a touching moment. So now... Oh my god. Okay. So he had the ability... To turn into that. <laughs> What's going on? Oh, he looks like a stretch Armstrong. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's the G. Oh, come on, baby five. Oh. It's crazy, like, what I'm hoping for now, because of what this girl's been through. Yeah, see, I hope that she heard that there and realises the difference between these two. The difference of... Yeah, they're using you. They're using your trauma. Yeah. No. Come on, Sai. 
Oh, the animation looks fierce here. Okay. Dragon Ball Z? What's going on? Gee, there's G. <laughs> yes, Sai. Get her out of here. Smash him, please. Smash him. You're done. You're done. Oh, man. Oh, sigh. Okay. <laughs> That's the G. <laughs> oh, and the audience. His audience goes with him. Okay. Get them out of here. Nice, I, I, I love this here, you know, the, the, these kind of little fights here, giving you more of, <laughs> nice, <laughs> giving you more of the personalities of the Coliseum fighters. I, I, I hope he actually does marry her, that's fantastic. Right. I, that was that was really well done. I, I like that there. You know, seeing seeing that backstory of Baby Five, you got the kind of full picture as to because like when she's introduced, it's it's like shown as a little, and this is older. Like just it's shown as a little kind of character quirk where you're like, what's going on with this woman? She's crazy. You know why does she act this way? Um, you know we we saw like she's trying to kill Doflamingo because Doflamingo is basically. Like, got rid of the people that were trying to take advantage of her. But you see there from what Lao Ji was saying, they don't want to deal with her issues. They don't want to deal with her trauma uh, and help her. No, they want to use it. Because they know that, she, that she's, like, they call her convenient. Right? It's very convenient. It's convenient for them to use the fact that she wants to be needed no matter the cost. So they'll use that. But when people, other people try to take advantage of it, it's like, right. Let's wipe them out and then deal. We'll just deal with it. You know, she'll try and kill Doflamingo for a few days, but we don't need to take it too seriously. And then she'll go back to doing whatever we tell her. Which is just sick. Just messed up in the head. So, do you know what? That's... I, I, the birth of a new couple in One Piece. And you know what? I, I'm all here for it because... I like that there. I liked what Sai did. You know, he clearly saw, right, this girl's messed up. This girl's messed up. Like, he's obviously been trash-talking her. He's been trash-talking her. And when he said, um, you know, telling her to kill herself, and then seeing the big smile on her face when she was going to do it, and then you saw it, like, twig for him, he's like, oh, wait a minute here. Like, this is, like, no, no, wait, a, hold on a second. And then, you know, him going through Don Chen Zhao, getting his respect and, you know, getting, uh, awakening his ability. That was, that was a well, that was very well done, that fight. And then, like, because you had all that very touching moments. You had the touching backstory of, like, Baby Five, like, and her, her incised moments there. But then, also the comedic aspect of Lao Ji in general and his fighting style and... Like the audience, like the little, the little group of there that were commentating on everything that was happening because they couldn't believe what they were seeing. That was a good episode. That was a very, very good episode. Um, oh man, it makes me think now, like what, what are we going to see from the other people um, from the Coliseum? Oh man, I hope it's, I really want to be satisfied with, uh, I want to see Idio. I want to see Idio just smashing Dellinger. Just smash him. Um, 
But it's making me think now, now that we got that, like when you think of like how young she was when she joined the crew and like how messed up her, her childhood was, it makes me think like what's Buffalo's backstory then? Because he was there with them. Um, you know, it's... I, and I like the fact that she's, you know, she's kind of... But this is the thing. Is she fully... Like, because she obviously has loyalty to Dolph Flamingo, so... If given the choice... Would she pick Sai over Dolph Flamingo at this point? I hope she does. Because I think she could clearly... Like, you saw her reacting when um, Lao Ji was talking about her. You saw her reacting to it. So she like, she knows herself. I think that moment there when, when he said that, and she, she reacted to the word convenient, where she knew, like, oh, this is how they see me. This is how they've, they've took advantage of my like my need to be needed. Um, but oh man, I just I, I I just want a happy ending for it. I hope that that is like I think that is the road we're going down with her and Sai. But please, like I'll I'll be relieved once the arc is over and she's on our side and she's with Sai, right? If we take down everybody else in the crew and she's she's like off to go and get married with Sai and gets a happy ending, that's when I'll be like, right, okay, thank God. Right? Happy with that. Oh man. Okay. Okay. Good episodes. Good episodes, guys. It's making me think that this is what probably the next couple of episodes is gonna follow suit and we're gonna get, you know, the other executives against um, the people from the Coliseum, because who do we have? We have Dellinger's thinking uh, Adil. Gladius is fighting Cavendish, I believe. Um, who else do we have like, that aren't like, the top level? Senior Pink and Frankie. Still going on. Um... But I can't really think of anyone else except for, for the high level ones. So obviously we know that we have um we have Dolph Mingo and Treble obviously up the top. Diamante's fighting Kiros. Pika's fighting Zoro. Yeah. So let's wait and see. Let's see what, what, what we're going to jump into next, guys. But yeah, great episodes. Um, thanks so much for watching. If you made it this far and you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. Everyone that has comes back, watches, comments, likes all these videos. Thank you guys so, so much. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you all in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.